Hello home bosses, thank you very much for joining me again and in today's video I'm going to do a little bit of a follow-up to our last video. If you remember in our last video I showed you how to make a bill organizer in Canva and I hope you have downloaded the free template from my Gumroad shop and today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the keywords for this organizer. So let's have a look and see how we can make this more discoverable and how we can maybe call it something else and, and make different books with the same idea. So just to recap and just to remind ourselves, this is the template we made in Canva. And just to remind you again, the template for this is available free in my Gumroad shop. So you can download it and it's customizable and you can customize it in any way that you would like. So let's have a look at the keywords. Let's go back onto Amazon and we're searching in incognito mode. And also we're going to search in the all tab. We don't search in books because we want to search how a customer would search in Amazon. Um, you can then later on, once you have your initial keywords, you can then go on to the books tab. But to begin with, it's best to search in all. So let's have a look. We're going to type in bill organizer because that was what we called our book. But we're going to see if that's a good idea because it, it may be better to call it something else. So the first thing we can do is check the drop down. I have installed the um, AMZ suggestion expander extension and that gives us a lot more information uh, with this drop down menu. So when I type in bill organizer, we can see that there's different suggestions from Amazon like bill organizer with pockets, bill organizer with pockets 2020. Now those two we can't make in KDP and we can't make a, an organizer for a wall, but we can make a bill organizer book. We can make, let's have a look, what else? A bill organizer planner. So there are two more keywords that we could use. Um, bill organizer notebook. What else can we use? Bill organizer for women and bill organizer for home, for men, for money, for purse. So bill organizer for purse, that would mean that we have to make it in a small size so that people can put it in their purse. So that has given us another idea because we could now produce the same book in a smaller size. And that's easily done in Canva as well. I'll quickly show you. So if we go back onto this organizer, I think you need Canva Pro for this, but I quickly show you how you would do that in Canva Pro. So you click on this button here that says resize. And then all you do is you type in the size that you want it to be. And in this case, I would resize it to maybe six by nine. You type it in and you press copy and resize and Canva does it all for you. If you haven't got Canva Pro, the other way to do this is to download it as a, let's have a look, as a PNG or as a JPEG. And then what you can do is upload it onto Canva and then make your canvas the size six by nine or the size that you want it to be. And then just put the photo or the JPEG, PNG, whatever you uploaded onto Canva, you can superimpose it on your size. And that's another way to do it. But maybe I'll explain that in detail in a, in another video. But for now, you know that you can, you can resize it and you can produce another book with this template and just make it in a different size so that you've got a different option for people who want to put the organizer in their pockets. So let's go back onto Amazon and we want to find out how many people or how much competition we have when we type in bill organizer. So let's click on that. And it's telling us that we've got over 5,000 results for bill organizer. And then what I usually do is I have a look around these books. So all of these are really ring binders, folders. They're not the kind of books that we 
produce. So how do we find out how many of the type of books that we produce are on Amazon? Let's have a look. We'll type in or we'll click on paperback and they may not be independently produced on KDP, but it gives you a better idea of the amount or the numbers for our type of books, the kind of books that we produce. So the search results are now um, over 7,000. So let's have a look and, and go down. They have got very good BSR. So if you look, 16,000, that's really good. 60,000 is good. 131 is a little bit more, but it's still not bad. 97, 191. So you can see there are a lot of books with really good BSRs. So that's telling me that this is a niche with high demand. So this one's 12,000, 48,000. So on the first page, you've got lots and lots of different books and they're all selling and they all got pretty good BSRs. So now we're getting a bit higher. There's a really good one here, budgeting planner. So to me, this looks like a good niche. I know there's a lot of competition, but it still looks like a pretty good niche to me and I would definitely make a book. We will have to make a really good book because these are quite nice. So what we can do is we can niche down. So now we've got Bill Organizer. Let's do Bill Organizer for women. Let's try that. And you know that if you downloaded the list of 15,000 book ideas that I've got on my Gumroad shop, that list kind of tells you how to do that. If you remember, there's a there's a list of book ideas. And then on the top right hand side, it tells you how to niche down by making it a bill organizer for women, for men, for children, for couples and so on. It gives you lots of ideas on how to niche down. So let's try bill organizer for women. And now the results are going down a little bit. So now we've got over 3000 results. So we can have a look and see what kind of books they are. Um, this one is quite pretty. You can tell there are a lot of floral designs for your cover. So already we can also take a look and see what kind of covers can we create. And the other thing I'm starting to notice, can you see that some of them are not even bill organizers? So when Amazon tells us that there are 3000 results for this keyword. It's not as much as 3000 because a lot of these are not bill organizers. This one's a budget planner. This is a bill organizer. So we've got one of them. This is a budget planner. It's not a bill organizer. This is a budget planner, not a bill organizer. Stuff I need to organize it. It's, it's maybe bills, maybe something else. So this one is good. Monthly bills and so monthly bills. So these are bill organizers. But, you know, I would say to people, when Amazon tells you there are 3000 results, they're not necessarily the book that people are looking for. Imagine that I was looking for a bill organizer and I type in bill organizer for women and I get all of these results. I don't really have a choice of 3000 results. I have a choice of the bill organizers, but a lot of these are not bill organizers. So that number is immediately a lot less than what it says here. So let's niche this down even further. Actually, we could also check to see how many are independently published. So we can see how many are published on KDP. So we just type in independently. So let's have a look what the results are for that. So Bill Organizer for Women Independently Published. So these are all KDP books, the same type of books that we produce. Already I can see a really good BSR here. Um, so now they're going up a little bit, but there's another really good one. They're all good BSRs. They're all selling. Some are selling more than others but it looks to me like it's a good niche to go into. I can already see that some of these covers can be improved and even these type of covers have made quite a few sales. And in fact, this has got a really good BSR and it really isn't that, um, that great, quite honestly. 
This is also, it's a monthly budget planner. It's not a bill organizer. Again, we have the same problem that we had earlier. If you're looking for a bill organizer, there are not many books on Amazon that are bill organizers. So really, there is a gap in the market. You can see straight away that we could produce bill organizers to cater for the people who are not looking for a budget planner, but who are really actually just looking for a bill organizer. So for example, this one is a bill organizer. It says that here. Let's see if there's another one. Um, they're not, not really bill organizers. Maybe the interior has a bill organizer, but if we're looking for a bill organizer, we're not going to find a lot of them. So now we really need to know how many people are looking for bill organizers. And we know that Amazon doesn't give us that data. Amazon doesn't tell us how many people are typing in these keywords. And I know you can buy tools that apparently tell you, like Publisher Rocket, BookBold. They are really more based on Google searches and they have got some kind of algorithm that they say makes it more accurate for Amazon. But in reality, nothing is guaranteed. But I think that we should have a look at them anyway, just to see if there is um, a demand for it. So let me just go on one of those tools. So let's try this out on Publisher Rocket. So I'll just bring out Publisher Rocket and let's do the keyword search in there. So we put in Bill Organizer first of all. And let's run the results. So so let's have a look at the first results. So it's telling us that the number of competitors is higher than 1200. We know that already. And the estimated Amazon searches are 1420. So this is pretty good. I would say it's not a low number. And we know that the number of competitors is actually smaller than any of these keyword lists are telling us because we know that a lot of these books are not bill organizers. So let's try and change this keyword a little bit and put in bill organizer for women. And let's see if the monthly searches are still high. That's what we want to find out. We want to find out if the monthly searches are good enough for us because we know that the competitors don't really matter so much. So it's still quite a high search. The competitive score that Publisher Rocket gives us is not too bad. The higher the score, the worse. So we want this to be quite low. Let's have a look what else. Let's see this one, Bill Organizer for Business. Takes a little while sometimes for it to get the results. And Bill Organizer for Business doesn't have as many searches. So we're really better off making a Bill Organizer for Women because that has a higher search volume. So. I think it's definitely a keyword worth having. So I would write this down definitely as one of the keywords that I would use, Bill Organizer for Women. Let's see if we can niche down in another way. Let's do Bill Organizer for, what else can we have? For the family. Let's see if that's anything. So the drop down tells us that it's busy family bill organizer. Now this is a new one. I haven't seen that before. Let's click on that. And again, it's the same kind of books that we're getting. So they're ranking for this kind of keyword, busy family bill organizer. We don't know how many people type that into Amazon, but we've got very low results here. So there's only 194 results for this keyword. So that's pretty good. Let's have a look at Publisher Rocket and see if the if the demand is high enough for us to produce that kind of book. So let's type in busy family bill organizer. So let's have a look. This should be interesting.
So this is a pretty good keyword. So <laughs> I think I think this is a really good one, and I would quickly make a book for this niche if I were you. So get your Canva account up and running, make that interior, make a really nice cover. And you know that this is a really good keyword to use. Busy family bill organizer. You know that there's not many bill organizers on Amazon. So you can use that as, as, as a keyword. And you can use your interior to make one of these, to make one of these bill organizers. So we've actually discovered a really good niche here by using this keyword, busy, Busy family bill organizer. So this is a pretty good niche. Now we know there's not many competitors and we know there's a decent amount of searches per month. And we also know that there aren't that many bill organizers on Amazon. So if a person is looking for a bill organizer, they're not going to find that many. So your book is going to be one of the few bill organizers. And don't worry about competition. Don't worry that because I've mentioned this now in the video, everybody's going to make a bill organizer. That's fine. Don't worry about it because there's still very few um, bill organizers on Amazon and not everybody that watches my YouTube video will go and rush out and make one. But I do recommend that you make one. I think that is a pretty good niche. We've discovered a nice niche here and I think this is how you should do your niche research by going through the list that I gave you on Gumroad and by using this drop down and niching down even further. So this has been really interesting. I think I'm going to go and make one now. So download the list of keywords or, or download the template to make your family bill organizer on Canva and start producing these books for quarter four because it's one of the things that we need to do now. It's to make as many books as possible to cater for quarter four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little list of keywords for the, the bill organizer and put it on Gumroad so that you can download it. If you want to save yourself a little bit of time, I will put that list on Gumroad as well. But make sure you download the free template so that you can make the interior quite quickly. And you can also modify the interior. So don't leave the interior as it is. Try and modify it a little bit. And I can show you in my next video exactly how to do that with a ready-made um, interior. But also if I show you quickly on this example, if you download the template for this, the way to modify it is to change the keyword here, for example. So call it a busy family bill organizer and you type that in here or call it bill organizer for women or whatever you think you can find. Have a look at the list of keywords and you can add little details. You can go on elements and maybe type in, I don't know, um, bills and you can add a little detail here, maybe add this sort of um, money thing there <laughs> or just um, obviously remember we have to use black and white or gray images you can also add something like this um, so just to make it different from all the other bill organizers you can change the font change the font here. You can call these different things as well. You can call these invoices instead of bills if you're making an invoice tracker. So there's so many ways you can modify this or you can make it if it's for women you can make a nice um, flowery or floral. So you know if we type that in you can make a lovely um, personalized bill organizer for women and just add some little flowers here and there. Just You can do this very quickly. I'm just showing you how I would do it. But there's so many different ways of modifying your template so that it's not exactly the same as everybody else's. So I hope this has given you some ideas. 
and and I hope you're going to make this interior. I'm definitely going to try that now. And I'll leave you with the list of keywords on Gumroad if you want to get that. So thank you very much again for watching. Please subscribe to my videos so that you can get notifications for my new videos. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.